In this video, I want to add on to our coin flip simulator by talking about accumulation. Uh, the idea of accumulating um, values, we're going to we're gonna have a running total where we want to keep track of a count, right? How many heads do we have? How many head tails do we get? Um, and the main idea is we're going to use a variable to keep track of this count, this running total. We'll initialize the variable to zero, and then every time um, we want to add to it, we can do this code. Count is assigned count plus one. Right, so we take whatever's currently in this variable, add one to it, and then save it back into the variable. Um, a very common mistake is for people to just do count plus one, which doesn't work. It, it'll take what's in count and add one to it, but it doesn't save it back into the variable again. Um, and, then, and then because this is such a common operation, you can also go count plus equals one. This plus equals operator means the same thing as it says add one to count, and then the equal sign says and save it back into there, right? Do the assignment operator or count plus plus is even shorter yet because adding by one is, uh, this is by default to add by one. Here we could put whatever number we want, right? Plus equals five, 10, 20, whatever you want. But anyway, let's see how we can do that with our coin flip simulator. Um, so I'm gonna go up top here and this is where we'll create our count variables. I'm going to create a variable for num heads and initialize it to zero, and another variable for num tails and initialize that to zero. Okay, so that'll run at the beginning of the program, initialize them to zero, and then whenever we flip a, a head, I want to go num heads is going to be assigned num heads plus one. Right, so it'll start off at zero, we'll add one to it, and then save one back into num heads. And then the next time this happens, num heads will be one. One plus one is two, so we save two back into the variable num heads. And then num heads is two, so two plus one is three, right? So this idea of accumulating, right? We keep adding on and get this idea of a running running total. And then we'll do the same thing here. Num tails is assigned num type, or use the autocomplete tum, num tails plus one. Great. Now, I'll save this and run it, and I don't think we'll have any errors, and everything should be lovely, and it'll still work, but we don't see our results. Although, if I type num heads, because it's a global variable, we can type the variable name in here, and we had five heads and seven tails. So the variable's working. We just need to output it to the screen so that we can actually see it. All right, so let's go to our HTML, and I'm going to actually suggest, let's just put another paragraph here, and let's go number of heads, and then create a span tag, and we'll give this the ID um, heads, heads out, sure, copy and paste, and we'll call this tails out, and number of tails like so and then we should be able to um, change the inner HTML of these I guess we could start off with zero that would make sense and then change the inner HTML to be whatever the variable is okay so we'll save that and sure actually maybe let's just put a little um, right here, a couple of vertical lines just as like a separator. Whatever, number of heads, slash, slash, number of tails, sure. And then um, heads out and tails out are our IDs. Let's remember that. And you know, let's just do that here. Let our um, heads span element. Uh, let's just call it heads element be document dot get element by id heads out and our tails element uh, tails out and then over here after i've um, added to my variable here right that we've we've added one to it we've incremented i think is the the proper term for that incremented our variable is to increase it by one We'll do heads elements dot inner HTML will be assigned num heads. And then here tails elements dot inner HTML is assigned num tails. Okay, save that. And now hopefully number of heads one, 
two, one, tail, three heads, and then now we don't have to keep track of it ourselves because we've got this awesome thing counting for us. Ta-da! And it's interesting with experimental probability. Once we learn about loops, we can easily do this a ton of times. But um, the less number of experiments that you do, the more it could be off from your theoretical probability, although this seems to be going pretty consistent. But you know, sometimes you'll get it where you'll get like five heads in a row or something, right? Like six and four isn't exactly 50-50. Oh, seriously, what's up with my luck here? <laughs> this is actually staying pretty close to 50-50. Okay, well, this is a bad example, but sometimes, here we go, right? 7-3, that, that's not expected, right? But the more trials you do, the closer it gets to, to the, the theoretical probability of 50-50. Um, and we'll see that when we do loops. Okay, anyway, key idea in this video, right, was this idea of accumulation. Oh, and let me show you that it could still work doing the plus equals one, right? We want, when we want to add on to this, we can do the plus equals one should still work. Yeah, it still works great. Um, but even shorter than that, when you want to just add one to it, there's a shortcut numheads plus plus, numtails plus plus, which is just says add one to this variable and save it. And that should still work as well. Okay. That is accumulation, using a variable to keep a running total. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.